Hello everybody! I am so sorry for so many videos being uploaded at once. But Generation Jumble Season 2, Round 2, is going incredibly quickly. So we just had uh, losers, well not losers, uh, Round 1 finish with Fluff, Fluffery versus Lizard Jesus. Lizard Jesus just won. We also just had Cyber DJ, Cyber DJ versus Hyphane. Cyber DJ just won. And now we have Great Gusto versus Zack and Theus. Unlike those other two, this one I didn't get to react to live because I was in the middle of reacting to Cyber's replay. But it doesn't matter. We finally get to see the council members battle, except for myself, but we'll see when that happens. So now let's just get right into it. Alright, starting out with Armaldo Weed versus Algazam. Working pretty well here. Going for Sword Stance, somehow calling that Reflect. Bug Bite's gonna do a heck of a lot of damage. You're forced to switch out, but you stay in. So now that is a huge, huge advantage for a Zach and Theus here. Tentacruel kills Armaldo, but it's fine. Rudra here can take on Tentacruel. Rap might be annoying, but I have a lot of faith that Rudra can survive it. Though this might take a while. In fact, fast, yeah. We'll see how long this actually takes us. But again, I will apologize for so many videos at once. Okay, you got lucky there. You get the crit and the special drop. <laughs> I like how Zach replying with Z's. Alright, either way though, you go into your own Armaldo. You get to put the sweep. Algazam can now just spam psychics as much as he wants. Uh so far, yeah, he's doing a lot of damage. Going into Tauros, you switch into Sneasler. Sneasler misses a low kick. Very unfortunate. Gets hit with a critical earthquake. You go into Executor. They go into Armaldo. You're fully paralyzed, but you're fine. You switch into Algazam for some reason. They go into their own Executor. You go for a critical psychic, which gets another special drop. Why does that always happen? How come whenever the Algazam gets a crit? It always gets followed by a special drop. Why is that always the case? And if you're Gusto, why do you also switch into Armaldo? I figured you would rather, you know, keep the sweep clause. Oh, that is huge. A critical hyper beam does decent damage, but this right on being able to get a free earthquake off, that's big. They switch to Executor. Earthquake doesn't do anywhere near as much against that, but it's fine. You have your own Executor. Do you have Explosion? Oh, we don't get to find out because they went for their Explosion first. Very risky and I think was not the right play at all. Drew Gudra goes for Fire Blast. Doesn't get the burn. Wizard gets the crit, which I'm pretty sure actually mattered there. Algazam can Revenge Kill and outspeed this. A crit is huge. You don't get the special drop. You don't get it again. They heal. Maybe go into right on here? Because I'm not sure why you would want to get this thing paralyzed. Because the Tanacruel is still healthy. And now with the wrap, that's going to be incredibly annoying. And this is the only thing that can take on the Tanacruel too. So there might have been a big misplay there. Psychic does a lot of damage, but... Oh god. Playing is a hyper fast. Hmm... This is, yeah, this is kind of nasty. It, it could be anyone's game, I guess. But I'm actually kind of leaning towards Gusto. Okay, that's actually huge. A critical Earthquake is not enough to kill, unfortunately. Any other move would have, but just not Earthquake. Tentacruel can outspeed, though, and that's definitely game one. Yeah, there was a bit of misplays on both sides, but overall, not a bad game. It was still pretty good. And it was a close match, that's true. Let's see how round 2 goes. We have Weed Galvantula this time. Psychic does not kill the Galvantula with a crit. You go for a Bug Bite, which does get the crit. So once again, Zam is taken out incredibly early. You have Amaldo, you miss Thunder, but they go for Sword Stance, you get another chance. You don't get the crit, nor do you get paralysis, but you get another shot! Oh my gosh, this is crazy! Galvantua has put in a lot of work, essentially KOing two different Pokemon. 
Haxorus can revenge kill. Going for Slash. I like it. Pretty disrespectful. They go into Executor. You go to Rhydon. That's fine. If they have any electric types, you can definitely get some free wins with that. Going into Alakazam. You go for Psychic. You get the special drop. That's nice. I personally would switch into something else there. Because I'm not sure why you want Zam to get paralyzed. It just does not seem worth it. Zam gets fully paralyzed. You can switch into pretty much anything here. Even Haxers, I think, won't care too much about Chansey now that it has a special drop. But whatever. You They switch to Executor. You go for another Psychic. Maybe try going for another Thunder Wave. Going into Rhydon. But unfortunately, Psychic still does a lot of damage. They switch out, which is interesting. They miss Blizzard. You wake up. But you kind of have to switch now. There's definitely no doubt about it. Hyper Beam, I think, can kill... But you... Okay, very interesting plays around the board. Psychic gets a special drop. Glitch Chansey is just not having a good time. They go into Executor. You heal. Do you stay in? Yes, you do. You're, you're fully paralyzed. They go for Explosion, which I do not understand when you have less Pokemon than them. They go into Tauros. Haxorus gets paralyzed, which is annoying, especially when you can't move. Somehow, Zack knew they were going to go for Body Slam, so they had the perfect read. Blizzard takes out Rhydon. You have Iron Hands. Iron Hands, it can take on this Tauros, but it's annoying. And you're kind of praying you don't get crit. I don't know who wins this. Hyper Beam kills. But how do you beat the Tentacruel? Your last Pokemon- or we don't learn yet. Wizard kills, gets the crit. And your last Pokemon is Chansey? Oh dear god. You get the special job at least, so that's good. You get hit with a critical wrap, which fortunately is not going to do that much to you. And I guess with that special job, it, it can't really kill Chansey either. Chansey will get opportunities to get Softballed in. So I can see where the win con is here. Okay, there we go. You go for Psychic. You get the crit, which definitely mattered. Now it's just Chansey versus Chansey, but one of you is paralyzed. You get the special drop. You better pray to God you don't get frozen. Because that will definitely end it for you. Okay, so Gusto just got rid of its win con. Because this Chansey, I'm assuming, doesn't have Psychic. So not sure why you would go for Thunder Wave. Zack and Theus has definitely won this game. Bit of misplaying on Gusto's end. I'm not gonna lie. It's just waiting for the inevitable. Second. Yeah, there we go. Alright, game three. Let's see how this goes. We have Weed Galbantua again. But this time against Elite Starmie. You go for Thunder Wave. I think a critical Thunderbolt would have killed there. Uh, just for, to remind you that e even a Bug Bite super effective, the Thunderbolt is also super effective, and Galvanitra has a much higher attack stat, or I mean special attack stat, so that would have definitely done more damage there, even though Starmie has high special. Hitting with a Thunder does a lot of damage. Now you can go for Bug Bite. You switch into Chansey, they heal. You go for Psychic, trying to go for a special drop. You manage to get it. They're fully paralyzed. You go back into Galvantula. They heal. But Thunder hits, gets the KO. You go into Moltres. That is interesting. You go into Rhydon. They go into Executor. You hit with a Rock Slide. Go into Annihilate. Gets hit with a really hard Psychic. You go for Substitute. Doesn't really do too much. I guess you can go for Screech here. Going to Iron Hands. But this Executor is going to outspeed. So I'm not sure what, what, the, what the plan was. Actually, wait. With both right on and Iron Hands, why exactly did you go for Screech here? Like, do you have... I, I guess we won't know if it had Poison Jab or not. So I'm pretty sure Poison Jab would have in fact killed there. 
Okay, I guess we have to see how this goes. But this definitely looks way more in Great Gusto's favor. Going for Explosion kills the Alkazam. It's just basically an Iron Hands versus the world. But this Moltres can definitely take it on. Fire Blast hits it really hard. Going into Chansey, but this Armaldo can just go for Sword Stance. Even a Psychic, I don't think you care too much about. Because I think it's way more important just to get good damage on the Chansey. You can switch into Iron Hands. Rock Slide will not do enough. But Earthquake most certainly will. You can go for Well Kick, doesn't do that much. Hyper Beam kills. And Hyper Beam will definitely kill Chansey as well. Okay. The full paralysis is annoying. But you still have three Pokemon against one Chansey. You got this easily. But not Rap, really. Don't use Rap. Yeah, just forfeit there. That's fine. Okay, so Great Gusto makes it to round two. Zack, unfortunately, will be in loser's bracket. But still, not the not the biggest thing in the world. Zack can definitely make it. He can survive in loser's bracket. He'll be facing my hearts. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, poor Monobug Myrox. Hmm, that's a lie. I have I have no sympathy for him. Either way, those are some fun matches. Thank you all for watching. This is probably the last one for now. Maybe we'll have more. Maybe I'll challenge Gobby today. We'll have to see. But until next time, this is Groundback, and I look forward to hearing from you.